hello and welcome to my channel today I'm going to show to you my impression or say to you my impression with regards to installing Fedora 33 in in MacBook mid 2012 MacBook Pro laptop okay so here is now um, the Fedora 33 being installed in my system okay As you, all the commands I have already all the keys I already configured them so here it is it's it's quite fast it's quite good and I want to show to you my settings okay so if I click LS USB so you can see here the different hardwares uh, being installed or a, a link in the system so I have here my keyboard my Broadcom Broadcom wireless adapters and all sort of all sort of stuff you can see here the F Apple incorporated FaceTime and everything okay I also attach my as headset for this recording and some of this stuff okay so it's very good it's very fast and I'm very well satisfied in using this Linux distribution and it's quite easy to use actually okay so I recommend that if you have this old MacBook Pro especially in for mid 2012 2013 or 2014 models you can very well install this Linux distribution there okay so how do you install this in your MacBook Pro so you just go here and search for Fedora Fedora Linux okay afterwards you go here in getfedora.org okay and you just download this official Fedora workstation official edition okay click, just click it here and then if you're in uh, actually in Mac OS X or Windows in Mac OS X so just click on this Mac icon here it's much better to use this Fedora media writer okay so if you click on that one it will download and you just need to save the file Okay. and if you use that file media writer uh, you need to have this uh, 10 GB USB drive small USB drive so that you can put in the installation disk there it's installation software there okay and then you can install it from there okay there's a separate guide for that you just need to reboot your system and I think you need to click on option R option R during booting option plus R so that uh, it, it we will have the option of booting from the USB and the the hard disk so you need to boot in the UFI USB to install that okay after you install this Linux distribution you can see that the wireless Wi-Fi driver is not installed okay so it's not installed so that is the only bad bad side here it doesn't work out of the box the broadcom okay as you can see here i have this broadcom here so it does install out of the box but it's just very easy uh you just need to this mid 2012 has its own what you call this uh wireless uh lan cable access so you just need to put it in your lan okay connect the LAN cable okay if you don't have that one you can buy this uh, small USB Wi-Fi dongle okay you can click on, it, click on it the cheap one the Chinese one because that one works out of the box in Linux so if you do if you are going to do that and you have access to the internet okay the goal is to have access to the internet so you need just to get to enable this RPM fusion here okay so you just go here and you need to enable the RPM fusion so f f for ease it's just easy you just need to click on this link here or you just go directly on this link RPM fusion .org, configuration okay and then you, you just need to select this RPM fusion free for Fedora okay click this one and if you click this one you just need to click OK and OK and OK and it will install this free RPM Fusion and then afterwards you need to install this another one non-free 
Okay. As soon as you assume, as uh, let us assume that already you already installed this too. Okay. So you just need to go to the command line here, and then write sudo dnf install broadcom dash wl. Okay, that's it. Okay. And it will install the broadcom wireless wireless driver. Okay. And then just reset it or restart your machine and you will have this Wi-Fi working now. Okay, you can now remove your LAN cable or your other USB Wi-Fi, okay? So let's let us assume again that you have already finished working with your Wi-Fi. The other one are, are the keyboard bindings, okay? So if you want to install the, key, the keyboard bindings, because I need to do this, I need to activate these two binding keyboard here this key this binding and this one okay these two these two bindings here so in order for you to do that you need to go first to settings okay, click on the settings here here and you can find it here the settings here okay and then you go to keyboard and then you can see here below you just browse below you can find here the show all applications you click it here and show all the activities overview you click it here okay they show up uh, show all applications you just click it and then you click on the keyboard which is this one here after you click 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 this one okay and then it will bind that for example if i'm going to show applications and then you click the keyboard keys that I have shown you. Just click here and then click it set. Okay. And the other one here, you just click the on the left side, bindings launch A. So this is launch B and this is launch A. Okay. So upon doing that, so everything will be working just fine. Okay, there's no more setup, I suppose, that needs to be set up. Okay. So back to here, my first impression is that this uh, Linux distribution is very easy, very easy to use. And you can find here this software application where you can find all this good stuff here, the free and the non-free. Okay. So, right. So I am very well satisfied. What, what you can do on the Mac and also do in the Linux. Okay. So try it. If you have an older Mac, try your Linux distribution there. And I'm sure you will get satisfied with this. Okay? Just take me. Okay? Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. Bye.